Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Hi guys, welcome to Real Talk. My name is Cornelia O'Dwyer. We are at Crust and Cream in Victoria Island for yet another juicy episode. So come with me. On Real Talk today, we have Abuka Obi Uchendu, presenter and TV personality, Lola OJ, managing director of Blink Slashes, and Jimmy, award winning on air personality and sports presenter. Hi, guys. Hey. Hello. Thank you for coming. Are we going to get hugs? Uh, sure. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice belt. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. You too. You're so oh, good. Nice Thank you. Nice. Entertainment nice personality yeah. of the year. You are fully nice. Thank you very Congratulations much. Congratulations on the new title. Oh my God. I Congrats. Really Avuka on the engagement. Okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you're wondering what is it, right? Avuka is like, yo. It's been quite a minute. <laughs> and then of course, like, you're just so Thanks. gorgeous. Like, I'm sure you're every girl's girl crush. No, uh, you no, get no, that like no. every Wednesday. No, no. Every guy's. And she has these pictures on like Instagram where she's just like, I'm not really interested, but. But I'm interested. But she's stunning though. It's okay, it's okay, leave me, leave me. Leave me, But Jimmy, you're not as well humble about your new title, are you? Well, actually, no. No, it's right on my website, Entertainment Personality of You. It's also on my Instagram, Entertainment Personality. I won it. You're lucky I was in that category. You know, actually, that's why I'm so proud, because if Ibuka was there, you know, it was not going to happen. But even the category wasn't easy at all. Did you get some hater aid from Ibuka? What's he wishing you? What? Ibuka, he finished his data on my Snapchat. And I said, skip, skip. skip. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys picture this scenario? So we have a situation where there's a couple who've been dating for a couple of years. Okay. And they, they've been dating for about three years. The lady was in London. Think Yoruba Muslim guy, Christian Igbo girl. Okay. Things are going, she mo they move back to Nigeria and it's like developing. And then the parents, you know, you're dating somebody outside of your parents. Sure. And then you move back and it's like... Your parents are now involved. The relationship is getting deeper. You know when a guy starts buying you deep things, you know, he starts buying, you know, almost getting serious. Level, yeah, sure. it's getting serious. Mm -hmm. And um, parents are pretty much like, no, this is not happening. There's absolutely no way that you're bringing a Muslim guy, guy home. In that particular scenario, do you think that it's wise to sort of go ahead against the will of your parents? Uh. <laughs> that's a really tough one um, like is faith a barrier to love so can you sort of marry outside of your faith um, personally I don't think faith is a barrier however talking from probably personal experience it is a lot easier and more convenient to be with someone who shares maybe beliefs and principles that are really dear to your heart for example if you are quite religious or if not now I'm not saying that you know just because you guys share the same faith, it means automatically that you're gonna have a connection. Because a lot of times that's not the case. But from experience, it is a lot easier to be with someone who, like I'm Muslim, for example. So I find it's a lot easier to date a guy that's Muslim, right? Than when I dated a guy did that was just Christian. Re did you just realize it? <laughs> <laughs> you are? Yes, not because of that, you know, Muslims are better or, or like, I have like half my family's Christian as well. So I understand Christianity and everything, that's fine. But for me, because there's certain things I may want to do and certain things I might want to celebrate, or it's nice to be able to talk to someone that understands what it is that you're so passionate about. So to me, it's not that love to me conquers all. So if you love someone, regardless of what faith they are, I just say, do what, do what your heart tells you to do. But from personal experience, it's a lot nicer to have someone that supports the same beliefs as you, just because it's more convenient. So you wouldn't go ahead if your parents were like, Hell I wouldn't no. go ahead because if my, no, if my parents said no, I wouldn't go ahead if I didn't feel if I felt that I was already going up against such a hard barrier, like I knew that this would be a fight. But um, having said that, like life is just not black and white. So yeah. there's just no right or wrong answer for it. Yeah, definitely. But personally, I, I prefer, um, I think it's easier to when be with someone who kind of shares those, the same interests. Ebuka, how do you feel I, about I that? I completely agree with her. I think it's, um, um, as much as faith is not, we are a very religious country. Whether we are in truth is a whole other conversation. <laughs> exactly. yeah, sure. you know, in but, truth, that's the yeah, operative yeah, yeah. Exactly. word. It's a whole other truth. conversation. Sure. But I'm sure if we take a census, four of us here, we have religious parents. We have a religious mother or father or, or cousin or someone who's dragged us to church or to mosque or to a mosque more than once, you know, even if we are not that religious anymore. Sure. So it plays a huge part in decisions we make. Tribal is also a big deal. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. mentioned Yoruba. Yeah, yeah. Yoruba, Igbo, Igbo, yeah. Igbo and all of that. Those are things that would definitely be an issue. Personal experience as well. I've also been in that sort of a situation with the tribe, not the religious part. And I know 
Um, so you're Ibo actually, from... Actually, I've been in the situation with the religious party <laughs> in the past. Well, you're yeah. Ibo from... Yeah, I'm Ibo, from Anambra State. Anambra, Anambra and Anambra where State. was this person from? Uh, I've had one from the north, one from, from the south. Oh, wow. East. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. The north, um, that's like it's, it's, complete it's hard, opposite. It's, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. um, I, for one, would never marry anyone without my parents' consent. Right. It, wow. Regardless just, of how you love them? It, it you want that approval. Them. Oh, wow. It takes me convincing. I can convince them. Mm -hmm. I will probably convince, convince them, them. But I wouldn't just do it because, okay, well, screw you guys. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the sort of person I am. Whether you like it or not, there are going to be times when, whether you, both of you understand each other, you marry into families here in the sort of country we live in. So In Lagos, Nigeria. In Nigeria, <laughs> You're not just married ah. to him so alone. When, when her, yeah. There are going to be moments when, oh, let's go to my parents' house and then you drive off with your friends and then she's there. They might be discussing about bread. But in their language, you know, things like that. And then she's <laughs> lost yeah, in this yeah. world, like, oh my God, what right. are they talking about? It's moments like that that makes you realize, oh, maybe. And then she starts overthinking things, and then all of this tension builds up and fights. I'm not saying people are not into, in, into tribal marriages and they're not happy about it, but it's easier when everybody's on the same page on that level. So, do you so have any your bread issues? issues, like in that particular relationship? Did I have any bread issues? Bread issues? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call um, it, right? Well, not really. On, 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 the, on the first, the one that was a big deal was I dated a Muslim who's from the north, from Meiduguri, actually. And. Um, yeah, the Yudi Waka, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it was when university, so it was university. And the, the, the parents found out, and it was the end of the relationship. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes, because she was Muslim, she was from the north, she was. I was she this, was okay with it, obviously. I mean, yeah. she was young. Maybe yeah. now she now might have she been different. Might, but yeah. I mean, that was the time when, when university, who really yeah. cares about stuff like that? Oh, sure. you know? Do you think age plays a factor? Like, people mature into like, of course, of their course own in terms of religion and beliefs? Of course it does. And then you of decide, course, yeah. okay, I'm not Generally, done it at the, 25. The things you go into relationships yeah. for, and the reasons you go into relationships now yeah. are different from the reasons in t 10 years ago. It could be because uh, this guy's Timbaland boots are mad. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. In university, then it was a big deal. Yeah, sure, sure. When people were coming to university, mm -hmm. you call the people in first year jam bites. Like almost pink yeah. shits. You call them jam bites, right? Mm -hmm. The first year students. Yeah. Yeah. The girl who wins Miss Pretty Face in the jam bites awards, everybody wants to date her. Just because she's Miss Pretty Face. Whether she's scratching your back at night or she's going to stab you, you don't really know. Right. But it's just for the face value of things. So, yeah, when you get older, it matters. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jimmy, how do you feel? Uh, Have you dated outside of your face before? I, I would, um, yeah. <laughs> First of all, do you want a list? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm here, all right? Okay. First of all, mm -hmm. um, I'm from. Uh, I think it all is all down to how you were brought up and the kind of relationship you have with your parents, mm -hmm. and um, because at the end of the day, the primary thing is LVE. If you have mm -hmm. that love factor, no matter what it is, like you said, you convince even the devil that you should mm -hmm. be in heaven. You know right. I mean? uh, no matter what it is, as long as you feel that way, and if they still don't agree, you'll find a way to go around it, mm -hmm. but you're not going to change Just, yeah. who you want to be with because mm -hmm. of your faith or because your parents don't so agree. So you're saying damn the consequences, and you would move I, along I, if I, that love was there. I would say that because um, I have personal experience from my parents. Mm -hmm. um, my mom is Igbo, my dad is Yoruba. Right. And they got married. My, parents, my grandparents were okay with it. Mm -hmm. Like, it was... They, they simply agreed that the Yoruba side was going to be very dominant in <laughs> terms of how they were going to bring us up. Like, it wasn't even a question of whether we're going to learn Igbo or not. But the thing things that they agreed. They agreed. But when they stopped agreeing, which is when love wasn't there anymore, they separated, which mm -hmm. is not good for the kids. Right. Either ways. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if the love was there, the, 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 their faith or their tribal relations would not be an issue. Sorry to, sorry to yeah. get personal there mm. and to take your job a bit. Go ahead. I also wanted to know, you talked about your parents there. The reason for the separation, did it have anything to do with the tribes? No. It was, like I said, it, it's, 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 gone, it's, yeah. it's down to love. Um, it wasn't just working out. Uh, between them, as you know, our parents would never tell you why. Yeah, sure. They never do let you, you think know. that there are some tribes that are more tribalistic? Where it's more overpowering, i.e., like Igbo I versus Yoruba, or like Yoruba versus Igbo. I don't call amongst all. It's I just their belief on how much they hold that. Mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think everybody's equally yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Some may be more, perhaps more yeah. vocal. Cool. But but remember one thing I have, I have realized, though, it's actually sometimes more how you are than it is about your tribal culture. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this because I was born and raised in the UK, right? Mm -hmm. And there's lots of my friends that I've left in the UK that don't know anything about their culture. Like, you bring them to Nigeria and they don't know anything like they're asking me like Lola, what do i do like do, yeah. like and they're yoruba or Igbo or whatever 
And then there's other people that perhaps are Hausa and know more about the Yoruba culture than some Yorubas themselves. So sometimes it's to do with like your upbringing. Like me, even though yes, I'm you know very British, whatever. My parents are very Yoruba. <laughs> like mm -hmm. my dad is an Ibadan man. Like mm -hmm. they're very much. Proper. I grew up. I grew up knowing what to do, what not to do, how to greet people. That's just something. It was my upbringing, not so much my culture. Because some of my friends' parents, they just. They just let them just be British. They don't know anything about Nigeria. Yeah, but I find that even if you have that respect and that what to do, there are some parents that are just way too gangster and they just, <laughs> you know, that <laughs> thing, you're Igbo, you're Igbo, or you're Muslim, you're Christian, I don't want it. how reliant you are on your parents. Right. And I mean, when I say reliant and... Financially reliant. Financially and emotionally are. as well, mm -hmm. because some, some guys tend to just find comfort at home, no matter what it is. If my daddy's not happy, I'm not happy. Like, my daddy's not happy with me, I'm not, or if, if I don't do what daddy wants, I'm not gonna get my position uh, in this business, approval. or I'm not gonna be able to do this. But for, for someone like me, who's been, yo, do you know what? <laughs> yo. <laughs> the street guy. I've yeah. been doing this by myself, so let me just be by myself. Make your own decisions. Like, mm. I'm only doing this I because I know true. tradition needs me to come and say, yo, dad, mom, this is what I have. This is the girl I wanna be with, she's Muslim. I'm okay with making the extra efforts. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, you need an extra to her own um, beliefs yeah. and what she needs. Uh, if it's a case of when I'm going to your house, I have to dress a particular way. If it's that you can't eat a certain type of food in the house. If it's that you know, I must be, I must at least accommodate your religion within the household, then I must make that compromise. Yeah. Because why? I'm in love with you. Yeah, that's important. Say, yeah. I'm in love with her, you do that. It's yeah. as simple as that. I, yeah. At the end of the day, secondary, what, because you're not, I have to live my own life, I have yeah. to create my own family. I think, I think what you said is actually very kids. interesting about, you know, knowing, um, you know, it brings up the whole talk about ignorance, whether it's actually the issue. But you also find that... But there's a large part of it that is ignorant. There's a large part of it that's, that's ignorant, but there's also a large part of it that also ties back to what you said about, you know, territorial, being territorial and pride. Because a lot of the parents, you will be surprised, they're very well educated, very well mm -hmm. trusted. Sure, but they've noticed, yeah. have they friends that cross all the tribes. <laughs> yeah. When it comes down to the meat they of the matter, yeah. it's no. Yeah. It, they don't. They don't compromise on things like that because it's not. They, they have PhDs from the UK. They have. They have worked. They're in more educated than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. This 2015. But, yeah. but then again, I even think things are softer with with yeah. tribe with religion. Yes, it's, it's, it's a bit I more agree. difficult I because it's, it's more of it's, a spiritual. It's huge. Yeah. Even within. Yeah the same religion. Yeah, right. yeah you're right. Yes. You're right. Oh, so my goodness. Catholic, 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 Anglican, Catholic, yeah. Pentecostal, non-denominational. Yeah. That you know, they have a lot of... Yeah, no, that's, you know, it's quite deep. Yeah, that's but, a whole other yeah. level. That one gets really deep. <laughs> so we decided to take real talk to the streets. Ibu and Laosa, we are the same family because we are the same country. The way I can marry Muslims is that if, we are, if you understand ourselves, she understands there is no problem for that. But even, I mean, Christian, I marry Muslim, if my wife told me that maybe she wanted our children to go to mugs or to go to church, there is, there is no problem for that. She knows there is no problem for that at all. Because I believe that we are the same religion, we are serving the same God. Even my mother, she's a Christian. My father is a Muslim. And as me as we did, some of my sisters, they are Christians. Why some of us are Muslim? Like me, I'm a Muslim. And so we practice the both religion. I don't see anything bad for that. Now only God know the best. Uh, so far, my own father allowed my mother make the practice a Christianity. Why me I no go fear allow my own wife? As a Christian, really I need to marry Christian too, so that at least my children will be going to church. Me myself I'll be going to church. So at least we have praying time for ourselves. Unlike the Muslim, my son, maybe my son or my daughter going to the mosque. They why my son we having two issues. One of my son going to mugs, one of my daughter going to church. Doesn't make any sense for me. I don't talk about any other person. I'm talking about myself. I say I can't marry yeah, um, Yoruba if he's a Muslim, but if a Christian, I can marry. If the outside person is a Christian, I can marry, but if he's a Muslim, I can't. I don't see any big deal in marrying someone who is, you know, of another uh, of another tribe, you know. I mean, it's, if, if anything, it's encourages diversity you know so i think that's i think it's pretty it's a pretty um, amazing experience obviously you get to learn from each other um and obviously your kids will be more diverse they'll be more i feel like they'll be well-rounded i personally i was raised by you know 
uh, a Muslim dad in a Christian mall and it's turned out great as you can probably see uh, and you know I'm personally my you know I'll keep my beliefs to myself but really it's 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 been an eye-opener I can relate to the both religions you know and um, I'm you know I'm, I guess I'm a more I'm a lot more tolerant sort of yeah definitely I mean well like um well how do you say it in Nigeria you need in diversity and all of that so yeah I can I can date on from a different tribe from me and um it's pretty much been open to like other people's um way of life and your culture and all of that interfaith <laughs> that, that is very nice <laughs> in fact this is actually very deep but hmm, for me personally i would say no that's a tough one but i think i can because at the end of the day it's yeah it's about finding love and finding someone that you're compatible with irrespective of the faith so I mean, I'm myself, he's himself. As long as I'm not forced into another religion, sure. Even as um, children born into a certain faith, you get to an age where you ask questions like, um, do I really believe all the stories that have been told? Um, you know, you go to school and then you have more knowledge and you, you, ask, you become more inquisitive. And so whatever faith it is, I believe that children are gonna grow up to decide what they want for themselves, yeah. So if you were to marry um, a Muslim guy, yes. and he decided years down the line that he wanted to bring in another wife, is that something that's that you would be... No, that's you, not for me. Right, so these are things that people kind would of need to would know. Would you talk about it before? Huh? No, this is the thing, right? Different, different relationships no -no. are for different people, right? <laughs> and there's some people that... This, having more than one wife, first of all, is not for everyone. There are certain requirements you have to fulfill. It's not that you just, okay, you just feel like you're going to just have ten wives. That's not actually how it's meant to be, per se, without getting Oh, I thought deep. that's what it was. No, oh. it's not is it like for that. and yeah. to love but them equally? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of things in terms of your financial status. There's, there's lots of reasons why. Like, I'm not here to... I mean, I'm not Advocate the for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not here to <laughs> say, I'm, you know, I'm not... I like how she's putting her hand up. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. People come and say that. Well, I said this. I'm not, you know, I'm not the head of anything. I'm just, you know, I'm not the... the I'm not the just your opinion knowledgeable Muslim in the world but for me that's not gonna work right. <laughs> so, there are, so there are Muslim I guess ladies who actually yeah, don't do agree I, with yeah, you bringing in another wife because, because men kind of hold it as though it's you sound like you Quran. agree with it no, no I, I think a man has a right to polygamy to be honest with you but I think you should just be honest with it from the jump it's different so because you some, some women can take it wow. some women I, I know some <laughs> I know some women that can oh, take it you, man. Yeah. and they're fine there's some women that do not mind being second wife they don't mind to me, right, there's some women that are very happy to even be mistresses, so I'm sure they won't mind being a second wife. I can't be a mistress, so I'm, I can't be a second wife. Not, not in that way, but I cannot have someone there before me. It's just not, it's my personal preference. I just, I wouldn't be happy with that. That's why and that's, guys are And that's an agreement where, with whoever you're going into a relationship, I think that's the kind of question you have before, like, do you have any kind of interest, or are you looking to have another wife? And, no. Because he's a Muslim, that's why that question will come up. Yes. Well, to be honest, it's not questions that I. It's not necessarily a question that I like when I'm dating a Muslim guy. I'll be like, oh, by the way, do you have plans on having another wife? Because no, the, the it is a of, the you, you of you asking but the question. I, I, uh, do you have any? That, yeah. uh, do you have any hopes of getting another wife? I think it's a fair question to ask. ask. Yeah. If it matters to you that much, I think it's a fair it's question. A fair I know question. people who have asked. It's a fair question to ask, but maybe it's just something that I know already that I'm not. It's not likely I'll be in that kind of situation. You never know. No, I know, but I, I do kind of know because I know the no, kind sure. of people that I am kind of attracted to or, d or, or date. There's a very famous guy in this country today who's married, mm. very well read, everything. His parents has his father has one wife. Mm. He got married to this girl who's. Beautiful, and you know, he hardly ever lived in Nigeria, but he's Muslim, but he hardly lived here. He grew up in Switzerland, all over the place. But the problem was that he didn't marry the love of his life. So he married this girl who, I think it was arranged or whatever, the Muslim way. Gorgeous, had an amazing wedding. Three years on the line, he married the love of his life. Still? Yeah, so he has two wives now. Now my oh, point wow. is, the first girl I thought like might you have meant, okay, that yeah, didn't work yeah, out. Yeah, 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 married they're both like, in the house. Now my point is, the first girl would probably have assumed, oh, this guy is called in America, yeah, in Switzerland. Yeah, it might not happen. His father had one like wife, that. so let's not even have this okay, conversation. Sure. Well, he has two wives, yeah. and his religion like, accepts it, so there's no, he doesn't have any, or anybody an explanation. Well, you know, the first wife an explanation. Well, she's still, me, the, she's yeah. still in the house, yeah. so yeah. she's accepted it. Well, you do I'm not sure she probably expected it. You still have to tell her, though. It's not like you can just bring home, like, you still the discussion. Well, you tell her, yeah. The deceit and the deception that I don't agree with. I think if you are going to do it, just let me know from the beginning. I think a lot of men spring it up on their wives. Yeah, but I also have to defend the guys as well. The guy might 
might not know at the time when he's getting married intention. to you that mm -hmm. he's going to feel like this about another woman and he would consider it that I love both of you so much that I, I want to make honest women about yeah. yeah. Which you know is why I mean? it goes back it's to difficult. what we were saying about love is just never enough. It's, you have to think difficult. about these things because yeah, they do well. crop up later in life. But ultimately, like a, what me, I think from this discussion, because I didn't even know what we were talking about until we started, um, I've also learned a couple of things as well. Um, I'm hoping to have marry at some point in time. Amen. Very soon, Jimmy. But the fact is, I'm not going to let what tomorrow might offer ruin my today. So but you're doing what you're doing today for tomorrow. Though. <laughs> Sorry? But you're doing what you're doing today for tomorrow. Ultimately, but I, I won't be unhappy today just because I, scared yeah, I'm scared of what tomorrow is going to bring. Unknown, no. Yeah. I know that right now with you, I'm happy. I want to be with you. I want to spend time with you. I mean, in the next... Yeah, you look at the, the foreseeable future. Sure. Mm -hmm. I know that, you know, you're willing to make compromises for me. I'm willing to make compromises for you. I'll take it out a day at a time. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. You can't, there's no, you can't predict. The dynamics always change. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, what if yeah. she decides, okay, she doesn't even like guys anymore? Then <laughs> religion doesn't matter. It's true. That's religion true. religion that's goes true. out the window. It's like, even if you're Muslim, I don't want to be with you then that's the end of it. So things, no matter what it is, it might be religion today, it might be uh, your tribe tomorrow, it might be the fact that you're now broke and you're lazy and I'm not interested in you anymore. It might be the fact that you, you make too much money, you don't even have time to see that I'm here. So anything could be affecting yeah. a marriage or relationship. Just got to live your life. Pretty much. That's a very good summary. You pretty much just did my job. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Entertainment personality of the year. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, now you're this guy. <laughs> oh. Or you can join the conversation by using the hashtag Andani Roll Talk. If you have a topic you would like us to discuss, follow us at Andani TV on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag Andani Roll Talk. Until then, see you next time. Yay! Hey, what's up, guys? They call me DJ Spinner, a.k.a. The Cap. You enjoyed the video you just watched? Please, please subscribe and Danny TV. Just click below and subscribe and you can watch more amazing videos.